Hey guys, Coop here. Quick little update on the uh, Ultimate Paracolor Jig by Mr. Coop. Uh, this is just a, a quick little upgrade in the new jigs that I've been putting out. The hooks that I was using, a uh, few people had issues with them. Uh, they do work, they work fine. It just takes getting used to how they work. Uh, they're they're constantly have to be put under tension and uh, a lot of people were just having a hard time with it so after talking with some friends of mine one in particular uh, Charles Young he also goes by a pair of prepper here on YouTube uh, he gave me a good idea so I figured I'd look into it a little bit more and decided to go with that it's uh, wound up to be a much stronger hook and works a lot better uh, you, it, it's a lot easier to use uh, to line everything up, zero everything out. It's just a perfect setup. So let's dive right in. When you get your jig, you'll get the jig and you'll get a package. In this package, all your hardware. No tools required to put this jig together. You just open up your bag, pour your stuff out. And inside your bag, you should have two small bolts, one long bolt for the slide, your four pins, and the new hooks. These are the new hooks. The old hooks, they went upside down. These, or they went right side up. These go upside down, and they work much better, and they're a whole lot stronger than the original hooks. So, when you're putting your jig together, of course you'll take the small, small nut, it'll go in the back part, on the top plate, just line it up, then you'll take one hook, place it right down on top of it, just like that guys, put your nut on it. Do the same thing with the back, take your nut off. Put your bolt in the slide, put your hook on, and put the nut on top of that. That's how that's set up. And then of course you take your long bolt, take the washer off, the nut off, stick your long bolt inside in the back of it, slide it down. Stick your slide right on, right through the hole, right on the ruler. Now you are, whoop, forgot to put my washer on. Put the washer on and screw your bolt down. Now that's how you put it together. No tools whatsoever, guys. All right, now how to uh, set up your buckles. We're gonna set up a 3 8 buckle real quick. Show you how to do that. You've got a male end and a female end. Your male end always goes on the top. Your female end always goes on the bottom. On the slide. Male on the top plate. Now how I do it is I'll go ahead and hook it on the top. And this line right here that separates the two but the buckle in half, I put it right on the end of the the jig. Put your nut on it. Pull back on your nut. Pull forward on your buckle. Tighten it down. Now that's zeroed. Now let's zero out, zero out the back end. You'll put the female in in your back hook. Put the slide and the top plate together. Pull your nut back with your hook, and you'll see there's your line right on the center. Once it's on the center, you just tighten it down. Now, this jig is completely zeroed. Whatever you set this slide on, that's what it's going to make. When you're done, you just unbuckle the two.
unbuckle the two now you're ready to start making bracelets you leave these on there you pop in another buckle on one on each side you're ready to start making bracelets all right guys you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them below i hope this new improvement helps all you guys it's a really really strong uh setup thanks a lot charles young pair prepper the idea was good and sound i should have done it a long time ago anyway guys if you have any comments questions feel free to put them below i'll be more than happy to answer anything you post i appreciate your support appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos it means a lot to me as you guys all know we've got the facebook page up and going link for that will be allowed below along with Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, Google Plus, and our new crafting group on over on Facebook, Swampville Craftables. Guys, Swampville Craftables, if you're not a member and you're on Facebook, come on over and join it. Doesn't cost anything, absolutely free, and everybody's welcome. The only main rule we have is please no selling and treat everybody with the same courtesy you'd like to be treated. And with all that being said, my friends, old Coop's pretty much going to say, Coop out.